Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. This is The Word with Joy and my name is Nima Wari. God bless. Thanks again as always. Great to see you and great to be seen also. Um, thank you again once again to everyone who subscribes so far and watching the video all the time. God bless you. Hey, are you being blessed? Don't just watch it because you know me. Oh. Alright, I, I know you're being blessed by the grace of God. He'll be glorified in your life as you continue in his word, you know, you will definitely be blessed. Wherever the word of God is, you will prosper, all right? If you believe it by faith and hold on to it, definitely it will profit us much in Jesus' name. Okay, so if you, it's your first time tuning in, hey, welcome to the channel. And I have a new video every Tuesday and Thursday, 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Um, please subscribe, go ahead and subscribe and click on the notifications bell so you are notified when a new video comes up. I'd like you to make your comments, put questions in, I'll definitely get to them for sure. And finally, like the video if you do and share with your friends and family members, whoever you think might be blessed by it. All right. Okay. So let us, we're going to continue with the value of a soul. We started last week. Um, we talked about how. God has made us in his image and put his spirit in us and he breathed in us and you know he's so mindful of us and he made us be in charge of the entire creation which is why it doesn't make sense that the devil will try to show you the world and be like hey you want this you want this no like you already have it because God has given us as men human beings dominion over everything that is here already so we should not be enticed by that it's a trick it is a trick from hell don't even buy it all right it's not worth it um so we're going to continue I was going to go into Daniel, so I'm going to continue with that. Um, the story of the three Hebrew boys who were thrown into the fiery furnace because they did not worship the image that Nebuchadnezzar had built. All right, so we're going to pray first, and then we'll get into it. All right? Okay. Oh, Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this time to hear your word again and to speak your word. Holy Spirit, I ask that you will be in control of this entire discussion that what I say will be exactly what you want people to hear and what people hear will be exactly what needs to be understood by them and they will understand it to become a revelation for them and they will be able to have the faith that they need and the strength they need to continue in the faith. And for those who haven't even joined the faith that this would be a trigger point to say what am I doing, why not, this sounds amazing and I pray that you Holy Spirit will do your own work and speak to their hearts. And that you be glorified, will be so joy, joyful, and the devil will be crying forever concerning us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. It's not even a joke. The devil has to cry concerning He can't be happy. No. He will never be happy concerning us in Jesus' name. Okay, so time is going. Uh, Daniel 3. I'm not going to... Daniel 3 is mainly the main thing, but we'll just skip around a little bit. So... In Daniel 3, I'm going to go to 5. This is after Nebuchadnezzar had made a golden image and he wanted everybody to bow down to. So this was the direction. That at the time, verse 5, 3, 5. At the time you hear the sound of the horn, flute, harp, lyre, and psaltery in symphony with all kinds of music, you shall fall down and worship the gold image that King Nebuchadnezzar has set up. And whoever does not fall down and worship shall be cast immediately into the midst of a burning fiery furnace. And so everybody who heard this was like, oh yeah, sure. So they had music up, which is interesting because music is definitely a gateway, all right? Be careful the kind of music you listen to because uh, some of them are dedicated to like an idol or a god or, you know, there's some spirits hanging around by that music. And so they all did it, you know, but then word came to the king, oh, you know, there's these three Hebrews and they think they're better than us and they don't want to worship your god. They don't want to listen to you, blah, blah, blah. And, you know... You need to set them straight because they're not obeying, right, the law. So this is um, that um, verse, after he spoke to them, verse 16, you know, he told them, listen, if you, you have a chance now. I'm going to, you know, you guys, my friends, you know, you're already in charge of like all these other provinces and stuff. Like I, you guys, we're tight. We're tight already, but just, I'm going to give you another chance, okay? They're going to do the sorcery again and the singing and the music and just like bow down, do what you got to do and that'll be it. Like that's all. Right, it's like what Jesus, what um my, um the devil told Jesus like oh just fall down and bow down and worship I'll give you all this it's like it's just a little thing it's not it's not little oh my goodness right oh just do this one little sin you'll be fine and then you get like you know you're in the wrong place at the wrong time God forbid you know just this one little lie it's not a big deal like you know like it's always just do this and you'll be okay you can go it always opens up so much more chaos and havoc it's not worth it all right 
Um, so then they responded in verse 16. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, Oh, Nebuchadnezzar, we have no need to answer you in this matter. If that is the case, our God, whom we serve, is able to deliver us from the burning, fiery furnace. And he will deliver us from your hand, O king. But if not, let it be known to you, O king, that we do not serve your God, nor will we worship the gold image which you have set up. Of course, he was livid, but this is so amazing. Like, they were so bold. You know, I always say, you know, we know it, the end of the story now. Then they did not know the end of the story. They were ready to, like, to, you know, to experience the fire. Woo! They were ready. They were ready, but they understood. It, it wasn't just say, oh, bow down and quickly go. They understood the laws of God. Like, you can't do that and not lose. Like, like what you would lose in your body that you, you've been killed is not compared to what you would lose if you lose your soul by worshiping the enemy so they were just like we're ready we would rather die than to sell our soul to you over i mean think about it it's just like oh just just this one time just just worship me bow down before me and do this this one time and that's it but that's all it takes remember we talked about worshiping a transaction right here is where you can see like they were like no we're not going to bow down to your gods and serve your gods and serve you and do image. Like, all of this is like a no-no. God already told us in Exodus and Deuteronomy also, like, just don't serve any gods. He doesn't, God doesn't even bother to name them. Like, oh yeah, don't serve A, B, C, or D. It's like, don't serve anybody. There's just nobody else that should be worshipped. You know, it's a very, very big deal. Um, and I was really wondering about, I mean, of course we know, oh, should I continue that? Maybe. Mm, okay so in the end he threw them in and this was so funny where all right i mean it's not funny but it's, it's interesting in verse verse 22 of daniel 3 so he he said you know what you guys are annoying me i can't god is not gonna nobody's gonna save you let's see what's gonna happen and he he sent them to be thrown into the fire and verse 22 says Therefore, because the king's command was urgent and the furnace exceedingly hot, the flame of the fire killed those men who took up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And if we read on, we see, of course, that, you know, they saw four men, which included the son of God, and he was, he was floored by that whole situation. But I just want to, real quick, I was looking at this, I was like, wait a second. I thought they were casting people into the fire who did not worship the, the image but it seems like their god who they were worshiping this new image and whatever couldn't even save the people that were already worshiping him isn't that weird like the guys that got so close to the fire why didn't the fire know that oh no these guys you know they worshiped they're good don't kill them why what, what happened there that's funny right i mean it's like they, they died, right? but that was supposed to be the punishment if you didn't worship. So you see how like the devil tricks us? Either way, you worship and he's, he's like, oh, I'm going to do whatever I want and live this life crazy, whatever, and, uh, and have fun. And that was like, yeah, sure, you'll be cool. And then at the other end, there's the other side of the evil, the repercussion, the consequences, whatever happens, the cutting short of the life and all of that. It's like, either way. There was a lie in the beginning, there's a lie in the end. It's like, oh yeah, worship me, you'll be good. No. And then in the end, you get punished even. You get probably the same thing that they said you weren't going to, you know, oh, you'll be fine. No, you get sickness and you get diseases and you get setbacks and you get all these other curses that might come at you because you were worshiping the enemy, right? And I can't believe that the time is up already. Um, but we'll talk a little bit about worship next time. Just a little bit, not a full thing. And also, I'll try to wrap up the value of a soul. You know, in the end, okay, okay, we get it, you know. Man is amazing, man is priceless, and God alone should be worshipped. But what is the value of a soul in the end? There is a, a value, a true value. It's coming up. So catch me on the next video, guys, and I'll tell you about it. All right? So God bless you. Thanks, as always, for tuning in. I hope you have a wonderful day, and um, I'll see you. In the next video, this has been The Word with Joy. The Word with Joy. And uh, my name is Nima Vore. Bye.